John Deere 6410 lifted it. The Massey 573 lifted it. And the John Deere 2750 lifted. Run the find out. Three, two, one. had and <laughs> about all year so, uh, let's go load some hay the coldest day of april and march and i got a couple of people to want hay so enjoy we're gonna have ourselves a 20 to 23 degree cold start key on This video isn't going to be really, uh, I'll say entertaining. How's that? Uh, the only entertaining factor that might be in this video, well that will be, is how I shut the car wash down during cold, uh, cold weather. I'm going to go up tonight and shut the car wash down for the night because business is really slow and it's just Yes. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, as promised here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Gotta turn the heat on in here. Because we're gonna. Here it is, the 22nd <laughs> of April. I can't see nothing in here. Nope. There we go. Uh, it's the 22nd of April, I think, and we're in a freeze advisory. So, I was going to shut the car wash down here because of, well, just relatively, more than likely, absolutely no business. So, I was going to shut it down and just... Not turn the weep system on, but Brainiac me brought the new Suburban, so I don't have any tools to break this line loose right here. And it's pretty simple. It's uh, oh, let's see, right here. Break that loose. This spins off and just lay that off to the side. Same thing with that one. Uh, but to turn the weep on, boom. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see. Got to do it right-handed. Okay. All right, there we go. That should be enough. But... If I'd have brought my tools, what I would have done was take this off. Got a big old air compressor hose here. And I stuck it in the end of it and blowed it out with air compressor and just blowed all the water out of the lines. And just laid them off to the side. Come up here in the morning, put that back on, and Bob's your uncle. So there you have it. Um, I guess the next upcoming video for the car wash clip video is uh, getting these put together. These right here. These little material mixing pumps that require air. So anyways, there you have it. Alrighty guys, here's the back side of the changer when you go to the car wash to make change or anywhere for that matter. 
I'm um, holding my hand here to cover up the, I'm gonna call it the dial for, for my sake. And I'm doing it for, you know, privacy. So I'm going right here, right there. See that little hole? I'm gonna take that cover off there. And no money. But right there is full of quarters. That's the hopper box. So anyways, that's what the uh, back side of the changer looks like. So there you have it. I can't show you how I lock it either. Just in case it might ever break in. But uh, there's locks that go in here. And then there's a secondary lock that's back there that uh, can't show you. Uh, what this video is mainly gonna be about is shout outs and there's a couple that i want to shout out uh, there was one that um, asked me to shout them out and there was another one that did not ask but um, talking to them a little bit um, maybe they raise their spirits up a little bit i i want to shout them out uh, the first one that i want to shout out is uh luke straw walker he is a YouTuber that is in Texas somewhere. Uh, he's a little over 200 subscribers. He is a very knowledgeable individual. Uh, he He's one of them that I would say has forgotten more than I would ever learn. He has helped me a lot in certain things throughout the past year or so. Uh, he's got a lot of good stories that he has told me along the way. Uh, just a, a top shelf individual. So um, guys, if you don't watch him, go and check him out. Uh, he, he does a little bit of everything. How to videos. Uh, he goes up into Indiana. I think it's Indiana and helps them harvest crops up there. And you know, just hay and videos and what have you. So anyways, go check him out. Luke Straw Walker. And the other one that I want to shout out is Farmworks 686. Uh, I was looking on, I was watching some of his videos yesterday, and he's a little over 800 subscribers. Uh, he is in Michigan. I think it's Michigan. Uh, he kind of. You know, right now he's in the process of clearing up his family's uh, farm. I can't remember if he said it was his grandpa's or whoever it was. Uh, he's got, he does videos of that and he does some butcher calves and, you know, what have you. Just a little bit of everything. Uh, you know, he, uh, I'm not going to go into details of what had happened because, you know, he just... He's going through, I'm just going to say, he's going through a tough time right now. And uh, i just like for y'all to go show him some, you know, community love here and go subscribe to his channel and drop him a comment and just, you know, give him some encouragement, kind words, and uh, let's get his channel up to a thousand subscribers. I think that would be a big lift for him. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm going to go feed cows right now and uh, then along about dark I'm gonna go up to car wash and shut her down because it's supposed to get in the upper 20s tonight so it's gonna be pretty cold and it'll freeze the car wash up if I ain't careful uh, so anyways guys stay tuned for that if you like and go and subscribe to these channels go check them out Luke straw walker and farmworks 686 
as you seen there, cow had her calf uh, in trouble. So that's that's good. Update from inside the barn. How's that? So, anyways, uh, she had it. Uh, let me go back here and show you the hay. What's left? At least in this barn. Uh, she had it just fine, obviously. And uh, four rolls here and one on the tractor makes five. She had it, and I know the cow looks pretty rough, but she's the one that I don't know what to do with. We've done everything under the sun, and she just she won't gain any weight. She just looks like that all the time. Doesn't shed her coat off well. I've given her all sorts of different dewormers, injectables, everything, and just, I don't know. Somebody said she's got uh, nylon in her that plastic uh, string in her gut. But she milks good, so that's a plus on that. So anyways, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, as you can tell, I got my plow and uh, about said disc <coughs> squeeze chute and fuel tank set over here in the gravel out of the way because I put my truck and trailer there. Plus, it gets mellow dirt and puts them on gravel to where they, uh, you know, they're just not sitting in dirt. And I did set my squeeze chute up on blocks. That way it's up, up, up off the ground. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it was kind of a Heinz 57 here. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Comment if you'd like. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, and as always, later.